What is up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and it has been a long time since I've said that man. I am officially back. Uh, I just want to make a video here letting you guys know where I've been, where I'm currently at, which is where you can see, and what's been going on in my life since y'all last heard from me over a month ago probably about a month and a half now I think I don't know maybe going on two months since I made a video man I'll explain all that in due time but I will say that I have officially come back as of today I literally just got my truck out of the shop here in Georgetown Kentucky Frontier Transport on the door this time we're back in a Freightliner boys um, this truck is not nearly as nice as my Volvo was but it's fine she'll do um, I'm not griping at all uh, I'm just happy to be back in another truck and going out again, man. I'm excited. I haven't driven for three months. I told y'all that I was taking off during the winter. I did, and here I am. Um, so I figured I would give y'all a truck tour of this Cascadia. Uh, she literally just come out of the shop here, like I said, and I'm pretty excited. It actually has Frontier on the door now, so it's not as confusing. You know, I tell people, I'm like, technically I'm Frontier. I know it says online on the door, and you know, it was always Frontier Transport I was a part of, so I like that I actually have that on the door now, and it's no longer online. Uh, no offense to online, it's all the same thing, right? <laughs> but I'm just saying, online. I'm glad because it's easier to explain now, you know, because I am Frontier side of things. So, yeah, here we go. Dave is back in a Freightliner, man. Back in a Freightliner. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> so, I have not even looked over this Freightliner at any of, like, the um, features. Um, we're going to see if it's like the other one that I had. I literally just got in the truck. I came around, <laughs> backed it up, and just sat it right here, and then started a video. I threw my stuff in, and that was all I did. So, let's go ahead and see what's going on when we open the door. Uh, they did clean it up, but I kind of stepped in all of this and in my truck, and so it's dirty. But it was clean when they handed it to me, so it is what it is. Clean enough, at least. I'm not griping too much. I mean, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but it, it is what it is. I'm not griping too much, man. I ain't that serious. I ain't that much of a Karen now. <laughs> um, anyways, we're no longer gonna have a CB up here. We will have the CB here again. So I had one here back when I worked with CFI and they put me in a Freightliner for a short time. I had my CB there. So that's where the next CB will go. Um, everything else looks almost identical to how my old Freightliner was, um, except a little older. Uh, I haven't even looked at what year this one is yet. I don't know. Does it say on the door jam? Wait, 2021. Right here, that says Truck Country Freightliner 2021 make FTL model. Yeah, so this is a 2021 Freightliner. So, I mean, it's not an old Freightliner by any means. It's just older. Um, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, I'm kind of upset I don't get my CV up here. I don't like it here as much. It's just kind of an awkward spot, I feel like. I really enjoyed it when it was up here and I had my little, you know, cord dangling here and everything else. It was just nice. Uh, biggest complaint when I was coming over here and backing, these little ass mirrors, dude. How do y'all drive with these little, how do you see anything in this, bro? Coming from the, the the Volvo, man, this is tiny. And then the front windshield, not nearly as big and open as the Volvo was. It's way more like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's shorter. Oh, I got a nick there, dude. I just noticed that. That sucks. Um, but yeah, we got these little ass mirrors. Like, when you look over here, the passenger side, dude, you can't barely see anything. Like, how do you see what you're doing over there? That's terrible. Do I have a sunroof? No, I don't have a sunroof in this one. Dang, I had one. You know what? I never used that freaking Volvo sunroof anyway, so it is what it is. Uh, ELD's going to lock in right here. I actually have it over there. They gave it to me. I'm excited to be back in a truck. I really am. Uh, I did not have a good three months. I just want to let y'all know that. I did not have a good time off. I was uh, planning on explaining all that to y'all in a little bit, but let me finish showing the truck here. It's pretty much identical to my other Freightliner. My favorite thing about Freightliners is they are very roomy. This is roomier than my Volvo was. This is roomier than the Kenworth was. Uh, they are the most roomy of the, you know, big truck brands, in my opinion, because I've been in, you know, Kenworth, Volvo, and Freightliner so far, and this is way more roomy. Uh, I remember that when I had the other Freightliner, I was like blown away. I was like, holy crap, because the Kenworth is so constricted, man. So that is the positive. 
The small mirrors suck. The kind of small front windshield sucks, but on the other hand, you have a really roomy back area. It is kind of weird how low your bed sits though, because the other ones, the bed is a lot higher. So it's really low. I had to get used to that one and the other one. If you're wondering, Dave, why don't you have a mattress? They were actually about to put a brand new mattress in here in the shop and I stopped them because I always put my own mattress in here, right? Because that's just, you know, I have a better mattress than what they put in these, obviously. I bought my own. And usually what I have to do is I have to take their mattress out, put it in my house, and then put my mattress in. And then if I leave or whatever happens, I have to swap them again. So I nipped it in the bud and told them, hey, do not put a mattress in here. I'm going to put my own. And they are going to send me home. It's Thursday, the day of my orientation today. They're going to send me home um, tomorrow because I told them I want to go home to, you know, get my tools and pack up my truck and get, you know, stocked up and everything because I don't have anything except for necessities because you can't just lug, you know, everything that goes in your truck around for orientation. So they said that'd be fine. I'm only a couple hours from home. I'm in their Georgetown uh, terminal. They did say there is a brand new mattress up here on this top bunk, which how do you get these down? Is it here? Uh oh, is there a, there's gotta be a pull. There's gotta be a pull switch or something. <laughs> oh, here we go, dumb Dave trying to figure out. This has gotta be it, right? There we go, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep on the top bunk for today. Or I could move the mattress down here, but that would, I'll just sleep up here. They said this one's in plastic, so it's nice and new. Um, I actually brought a blanket and pillow. They asked me that too. They was like, do you have a blanket and pillow and stuff? I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm good. Uh, so that way I don't have to move two mattresses now. I just put one in here and I'm done. Um, we have storage here. I do remember this having a lot more storage than the, the Volvo did. Um, right here, microwave slot. Clothes here, I'm assuming. Yeah. I only stay out for a week now, so it's like not really a big deal to, you know, stack up some clothes for the week. Um, down here, we got another storage bin. I'm assuming that's where the uh, bunk heater comes out of. I mean, yeah, because there's nothing down here. So these seats, uh, <laughs> they've probably seen better days, dude. That was the first thing I noticed when I got in here. I was like, man, these seats are crappy again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a truck with nice seats. I see these guys sometimes, you know, when you're at a truck stop and you know they pull in there, they drive by you or whatever, and they got these nice plush looking seats that they're sitting in. I'm always in these freaking uncomfy ass seats man all day pisses me right the hell off <laughs> anyways so that is the freightliner cascadia that dave is in um i don't know what else to show y'all this is the same thing i do every time i get a new truck or join a new company or whatever i show y'all we all knew i was coming back to online anyway so this is gonna be my home away from home for five days a week so yeah boys this is where i'm at um Anyways, let me get a drink of water here because I've just been rambling on for freaking 20 minutes already. So, um, yeah, man, uh, as y'all know, when I ended up making a video announcing that I was taking off for the winter, uh, I kept uploading videos for about a month, you know maybe a little more month and a half something like that i kept uploading you know sticking to my normal schedule once a week i told y'all i had a lot of videos built up and i did and um i still do i have a ton of videos still and i might you know show those here and there but it's going to be mostly you know content with the freightliner but there still may be some volvo stuff coming that i have stored up um so you're probably wondering why i just stopped uploading videos um like I said, I really didn't have a good three months off. So let's um, rewind a little bit and I'll kind of explain to y'all what kind of happened. Um, as you know, um, at some point last year, I don't even remember, but you know, I had a life change in which I was uh, single again, obviously. And uh, I made y'all a video saying, hey, I'm doing pretty good again, you know, enjoying myself, enjoying life again and all this other stuff. And then I took off three months from trucking and uh you know winter came and all the leaves fell and everything looked gray and dreary and for a little over a month i uploaded videos every week for y'all you know and y'all appreciate it and everything else and then i just got hit with like really bad depression dude like i am not a person that's often depressed or like just completely unhappy or 
um, you know, no mental health issues really ever, you know, like I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, it must have been the weather change. It must have been me, you know, at home and I wasn't really hanging out with anybody. Um, wasn't really doing anything with any of my friends. Wasn't really talking to anybody. And like, there's only so many times, you know, I, you know, I live like 30 minutes away from the city. There's only so many times I can like, you know, go drive down the road to go get something or do something. And uh, I ended up just falling into like a really bad depression, to be honest with y'all. And I just suddenly like didn't like, I had no urge to upload any videos. I had no urge to do anything YouTube related. Um, barely talked to any of my friends, you know. I was just in a bad mood. One of my friends asked me one day, like, I didn't tell him I was depressed or anything, but he's just like, is everything okay with you? <laughs> like, are you all right? Because, you know, I wasn't acting myself and everything. And he's just like, you you seem to be something's up lately. And I'm like, you know, I told him straight up. I was like, dude, I'm probably at the lowest point in my life that I've, like, ever been. And that was, like, you know, truthful telling him that. Like, that's pretty much how I was feeling. Like, I've never really been in a bad depression in my whole life like it's just not something you know i'm not somebody that's often depressed or anything you know it's nothing i really have much experience with and um you know i don't really know what caused it like i said i mean i had some life changes and everything where you know i was in a lengthy relationship and then that ended but you know i, I was fine shortly after but it was like just everything at once then stopping trucking and just being home the weather changing and my buddy was telling me you know, the area that we live in or anywhere that's, you know, up north, sort of like seasonal depression is a thing, you know, everything turns gray, it's cold, it's, you know, it's just not as uplifting as bright, sunshiny spring and summer is. And, you know, he said that might have something to do with it. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't happy, guys. Like I was just, <laughs> I was just mad at the world, everybody. I just was not happy. Like nothing made it better. And, you know, I stopped looking at YouTube. I stopped uploading videos. I stopped responding to comments. I didn't say anything to anybody. You know, I used to post on, like, Snapchat and Instagram quite often. I kind of just stopped throughout the winter. I just had no urge to really do anything, man. And um, that's pretty much my reasoning for why I, uh, you know, wasn't around for a little while. Um, I don't really have any excuse for it. I just fell into a depression and didn't care about anyone or anything and just... Yeah, kind of, it sucked, man. It was a pretty bad funk. Um, I'm starting to come out of it now. Like I said, um, I'm a lot better uh, now that the weather started to change. And now I'm getting back out and doing some things. But I don't think that time off was good for me. <laughs> I mean, I kind of I kind of felt like I wanted a break. You know, it was nice getting a break, especially when you do truck driving plus YouTube. And, you know, you do a lot of filming. You do a lot of editing and all that stuff. It's always nice to get a little break where I'm like, you know, when I first took off for the three months, I was so excited, man. It was like the first couple weeks. I'm like, woo! off every day boy let's go you know dave's all excited freaking you know hooting and hollering and whatever and then just slowly man it's just i just went downhill man i don't i don't know why like i said it's, i'm not usually somebody who's prone to stuff like that but it definitely got me this time man and uh yeah, it just sucks. It's like normal things that I used to enjoy, I didn't enjoy anymore. You know, like, I didn't enjoy really going and riding on my motorcycle. I didn't really enjoy playing any video games, which I would usually enjoy. I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy or want to hang out with anybody. Like, you know, my friend would, like, invite me, like, hey, we're, I'm going to cook some dinner tonight if you want to come over. Or, hey, we're going to go out to here if you want to come here. Hey, we're going to go out of town to this place. And I just, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do anything and it sucked dude like i've just never had that kind of happen before and no matter what i did i wasn't having fun doing anything and it's just a really strange feeling so i want to tell y'all about i'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that you know i'm, I'm fine um you know so i don't need like sympathy i'm not trying to make y'all feel bad for me i'm just explaining like what happened and caused me to kind of disappear and where i'm at now and uh yeah i'm definitely feeling a lot better now i will say um you know i'm definitely in a much better spot now that i just got the truck and the weather change and everything else and so i'll quit rambling about all that but there's that um i figured i would go ahead and give y'all a rundown of that figured i would show you all the truck um let's go let's go look at the outside one more time i'll show y'all before i end this video because we're not going to do anything else here i'm actually i did orientation all day today and i just drove 
uh, what is it, like three and a half hours from Indianapolis to here to grab my truck. And, you know, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm ready to lay down and relax. Um, probably upload this video when I get back home uh, tomorrow. But let's just do a little full walk around here for y'all. I'm trying to put my shoes on, man. <laughs> They're not really going on properly. Oh, shoot. But yeah, here she is. She actually looks really nice on the outside. I mean, she's not terrible on the inside. I know I said it was, it's not as nice as the Volvo was, but it's not terrible. Um, you know, oh, look at that. Oh, we don't want that, there we go. I don't know how that happened. They must've been fixing something. But yeah, here she is, man. Here she is. Dave has a Frontier. I'm actually kind of excited to have Frontier on the door now, like I said, man. Actually pretty excited about that. Got Indiana plates. We got our toll pass up there. That's what that blue thing is. That's what I wanted to make sure I had that. I had my easy pass in there. Make sure I'm covered. Um, I have not done a free trip on this yet. Um, I will do everything, but the guy just backed it out of the, the bay and I just brought it right over here and backed it in. But it just came out of the shop, so I'm sure it wasn't. If for somebody says, oh, you drove it and drove it across the parking lot without doing pre trip all the oil come out of it. And dude, it was just in the freaking shop, dude. It's fine. To back over here until I can look at it. And of course, I'm going to take a full video of it and everything with my phone close up. Uh, so any little bit of damage or anything that I see on this truck is documented before I take it. So then if they ever say, hey, you did that. No, I didn't. It was like it when I got it. So I always do that for all my trucks too. Um, we're going to do a full pre-trip on this thing. Um, check everything. Pop the hood. Check all the fluids. Check everything under the hood. And yeah, there she is, man. <laughs> Riding with Dave back at Online Frontier with a nice old Frontier truck. I'm about to get back at it, man. Oh, I got the, if the stickers are good. And yeah, there we go, man. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a catwalk I can walk up on too. It's kind of nice. Well, there's y'all an update, man. That's what Dave's been doing. I apologize that I didn't really have it in me to make videos for a while. And, you know, it took me a month and a half or so break of not uploading anything. Um, hopefully you guys understand my reasoning that I explained to you. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be back to my normal self once I get going making videos for y'all. We can hoot and holler when we go down the road and have fun. <laughs> anyways guys all right that's gonna do it and i will holler at y'all later peace let's take a spin to a foreign place these open highways are calling our name and now it's time for us to escape escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown escape to a world we don't know, escape into the great unknown.